Hi, and welcome to a new series that I'm starting about daily news. If you want more news and more story videos, then head over to my Patreon in the link below and sign up. <laughs> All right. Today we have a news story. Firefighters evacuate more than 200 patients from a Los Angeles hospital after Hillary-related power outage. So firefighters evacuate. They take the people out of the hospital. They evacuate more than 200 patients from a Los Angeles hospital after Hillary-related power outage. So Hillary is the hurricane, is the hurricane that's in California right now. So Hurricane Hillary. So this is the hurricane that's hitting California right now, and it's called Hurricane Hillary. And there was a Hurricane Hillary-related power outage. A power outage is when you lose power in your house or in a building. So it's a power outage. So because of Hurricane Hillary, the hospital lost power. And in a hospital, you need power to run all of the machines that are keeping the patients alive or doing things for the patients. Let me adjust this. Okay. All right. So let's click on that story. A power outage overnight at White Memorial Hospital in Los Angeles prompted the evacuation of more than 200 patients from a building house from a building housing neonatal intensive care and OBGYN units according to the Los Angeles Fire Department and hospital officials. So remember a power outage is when you lose power, you don't have any power anymore. It happened overnight, so it happened during the nighttime at White Memorial Hospital. White Memorial Hospital, Los Angeles. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the White Memorial Hospital looks like. This is what it looks like when it has power. When it doesn't have power, it's all black. So, uh, a power outage overnight at White Memorial Hospital in Los Angeles prompted the evacuation. So, because of the power outage, that's what prompted means, because of the power outage, there was an evacuation. Remember, they took out more than 200 patients. So if you go to a hospital and you're staying at the hospital, you are a patient. So the evacuation, they took out more than 200 people who were staying at the hospital because they were sick from a building housing neonatal intensive care. What's neonatal? I don't know. Neonatal definition uh, relating to newborn children oh okay so neonatal intensive care so care intensive care is very high level care for newborn babies for babies that were just born and OBGYN units what does OBGYN stand for uh, no, thank you. It's an acronym, so OBGYN, that combines two closely related disciplines, so two fields of study. OB stands for obstetrics or obstetrician, a physician who cares for women and their babies during pregnancy and childbirth. So obstetric obstetrics or obstetrician. An obstetrician is a physician, a doctor, who takes care of women and their babies during pregnancy and childbirth. GYN stands for gynecology or gynecologist, a physician or a doctor who specializes in treating female reproductive conditions. So they both deal with women. Uh, the OB deals with women and their babies during pregnancy and childbirth, and a physician uh, who specializes. They don't do a lot of things, they just do this one thing. They're a gynecologist. 
they treat female reproductive conditions. So they work on the female's reproductive organs, if you know what I mean. So they're a special doctor for women down there. Uh, so they evacuated, they took out more than 200 patients from a building housing neonatal, remember about the babies, the babies intensive care unit and OBGYN unit. So dealing with new mothers and dealing with women who are having problems down there. According to the Los Angeles Fire Department and hospital officials. So that's who told CNN, this news organization, that this happened. All patients are safe. Well, that's good. Including a baby who was born after the hospital's main six-story building lost power during Tropical Storm Hillary and generators subsequently failed. So everybody's safe, including the baby who was born after the hospital's main six-story building lost power. So it's a six-story building. One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six stories and it lost power. All the electricity went away. Uh, because of Hurricane Hillary and generators subsequently failed. So when the power goes out, when a big building like this, when the power goes out, they have generators, so they have backup power. So the power might go out, but then these machines, uh, generator for building, but then the generator will turn on and then the power will come from this generator, but the generators failed too. They didn't work either. Adventist Health White Memorial President John Rafu, or John R Rafau, so he's the president of this building, said at a news conference Tuesday morning. So the president of Adventist Health White Memorial Hospital, this hospital is named John Rafau, or John Rafu, something like that. And he said that everybody was safe, even the baby who was born when there was no power. He said that at a news conference. This is what a news conference looks like. Doctors and nurses used flashlights to illuminate, to light up, to illuminate the room while the mother gave birth. Grace Hauser, a spokesperson for the hospital said, so Grace Hauser isn't the president, but when something happens at the hospital, she talks to the media. She talks to CNN. She talks to uh, Fox News. She talks to the New York Times. She talks to the newspapers and uh, the news organizations. So she'll talk to all of these people and all of these people. She's a spokesperson the hospital. Grace Hauser is a spokesperson for the hospital. Mother and baby were transferred to another hospital. So they were in this hospital, then they were transferred to this hospital. Let me check my video. Okay, we're all good. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass on Tuesday commended the LAFD and hospital staff for swiftly evacuating the patients in critical care. So the mayor of Los Angeles, the person who's in charge of Los Angeles, Los Angeles. So this is Los Angeles. So the person who's in charge of Los Angeles, Los Angeles is in California. So the person who's in charge of Los Angeles, the mayor, Karen Bass, on Tuesday commended the LAFD. The LAFD is the Los Angeles Fire Department, L-A-F-D. She commended them. She said, good job. You did a great job. And hospital staff, the people who work at the hospital are the hospital staff. For swiftly, swiftly means quickly, very fast. Swiftly evacuating, taking the patients, uh, swiftly evacuating the patients in critical care. So taking the patients out, from critical care here and putting them in a different hospital. We must get to the bottom of what happened and ensure that lives are not put at risk in this way ever again. So we need to, 
We need to get to the bottom of what happened. Hmm, what happened? We need to find out why the hospital lost power and then the generators didn't work. So they lost power and the generators didn't work. So how did that happen? We needed to get to the bottom of what happened and ensure and make sure, ensure, make sure that lives are not put at risk in this way ever again. Because when the power went out, a lot of people in that hospital could have died. Luckily, nobody did. Bass said in a statement, noting that she once worked in the NICU at White Memorial. NICU stands for Natal Intensive Care Unit, N-I-C-U. Remember, they had to evacuate, take people out of the neonatal intensive care. So the mayor used to work at the NICU at White Memorial. A power outage risks the lives of all of those babies. So when they lose power, all of the babies could die. So they're at risk. They could die and also the rest of the patients in critical care whose lives depend on respirators, ventilators, and other critical life-sustaining equipment. So let's look at respirator in a hospital. So this is a respirator. It helps you, it helps you breathe. So if it stops working, you won't be able to breathe. Uh, a ventilator. Ventilators also help you breathe. So this is critical life-sustaining equipment. It sustains, it keeps your life going. Your life doesn't stop. It keeps going because of these respirators and ventilators. But the respirators and ventilators need electricity. They need power. They need electricity. Uh, La Angelenos, I guess that's what they call people in Los Angeles. Angelenos. Angelenos? I don't know how to say it. Angelenos deserve a thorough examination of this incident. So they're gonna, they're going to examine a thorough examination. They're gonna examine and look for what's going on and why this happened, this incident, what happened here. White Memorial first lost its main power early Monday at the height of the storm before its backup generators failed around 1 a.m. So I guess the generators did work for a little bit, but then the generators failed at 1 a.m. local time on Tuesday. So I guess the generators worked for maybe... 12 hours. So White Memorial first lost its main power early Monday at the height of the storm. So when the storm was the worst. Hillary struck, remember Hurricane Hillary, struck Southern California. So Southern California. This is Southern California. This is Southern California. So this is Northern California, Southern California. South is down. Hillary struck Southern California on Sunday as a tropical storm, bringing heavy rain and flooding before it weakened to a post-tropical cyclone. So it brought flooding, so heavy rain. Heavy rain and flooding. This is flooding. Bringing heavy rain and flooding before it weakened, so it got less, to a post-tropical cyclone. LAFD, the Los Angeles Fire Department, responded to find 241 patients were impacted by the outage. So 241 patients were affected. Something happened to them because of the outage, the power outage. They lost electricity. 
They lost electricity. There was no electricity. 28 of whom were considered critical and moved to other hospitals. So they were critical. They could die. So they were moved to other hospitals. Los Angeles Fire Chief Kristen Crowley said at the news conference. So Los Angeles Fire Chief, the fire chief is the boss of the fire department. The fire chief is Kristen Crowley. And she said that the LAFD responded to find 241 patients were impacted by the outage, 28 of whom were considered critical and moved to other hospitals. She said that at the news conference. So let's look up Kristen Crowley. So this is Kristen Crowley. She's the fire chief. She's the Los Angeles fire chief. And she had a news conference. What? Oh, news conference. <laughs> she had a news conference and said this. Other patients were moved to another building on the hospital's campus that still had power, Ruffle added. Remember, Ruffle is the president of the hospital. So these patients, the critical patients, the patients who could die, were moved to another hospital. But the other patients were moved to another building on the hospital's campus. So let's look up, uh, what's the hospital called? White Memorial. White Memorial. So this is the campus. There are many buildings. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a lot of buildings. This is the campus. So they were moved from one building to another building that still had power, that still had electricity, that still had lights. LA City Fire Captain Cody Wiriter L.A. Cody Wereter. So this is a fire captain. He's in charge of a fire station. He's not in charge of all of the firefighters. He's in charge of the fire station. Previously said, so before, previously, before, he said that 271 patients, 21 of them critical, were affected. So one person said 241. Another person said 271. I don't know. LAFD firefighters, Los Angeles Fire Department firefighters, and paramedics paramedics had to work in a coordinated effort. They had to work together to transport patients down the stairs and the stairwells to awaiting ambulances. So they had to work together to transport, to take the patients down the stairs and the stairwells. This is a stairwell. This is a stairwell. This is a stairwell. This is a stairwell. A stairwell. To awaiting ambulances. So the ambulances were waiting for these patients. Weeder, Weeriter said in an earlier news conference. Five of those evacuated were patients on ventilators. Whoops. Were patients on ventilators. So five of the people who were evacuated were patients on ventilators. Like this guy, he's on a ventilator. This guy is on a ventilator. Including two whose ventilators had just an hour left of backup battery power. So in one hour their ventilator would have stopped working and then this person would have died. According to dispatch audio recorded by Broadcastify, which captured firefighters' efforts to coordinate the evacuation. So, audio. Why does it do that? Stop. Okay. Audio, my gosh. So this is audio. So the audio was recorded by Broadcastify. Why does it do that? Broadcastify. This is Broadcastify. It's an app on your phone. 
So it was recorded by Broadcastify, which captured the firefighters' efforts to coordinate. You go here. You go there. You go there. Okay, you come with me. That's coordinating the evacuation. We have three patients that are going to be critical, two that are on ventilators. One firefighter is heard saying they hear the audio, calling for at least three engine companies. Firefighter engine companies? I don't understand. We're going to have to move them down manually without the elevator. So remember, the elevator, the elevator doesn't work. It didn't work because there was no power. So they had to move them manually. They had to walk with the patients. They had to move them manually without the elevator. Copy. I've that copy means I I heard what you said. Copy. I've asked for a bunch of additional resources. So I've asked for a lot more help and supplies and people. The dispatcher responded. So a dispatcher A dispatcher works here. I understand you got one patient up there. That's the priority. That means that patient is number one. They need help the most. They need to be helped first. And I'll throw engines your way when they get here. Okay, so they're talking about fire engines. This is a fire engine. 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 Affirmative. Okay. Affirmative means okay. The, uh, the first responded. Two have about an hour left on battery. So on battery, they have one hour left and then the battery's going to be dead and so is the person. And the one is immediate that would have to be moved. Okay, start packing up the patient for immediate move. So remember, there's a patient who's the priority, who needs to be moved right now. They can't wait. The failure of the backup generators. Remember, the generators failed at 1 a.m. At 1 a.m. on Tuesday. The failure of the backup generators will be investigated. Raphael said, adding an emergency generator is being brought up to the hospital in the meantime. So, the failure of the backup generators, why the generators stopped working, will be investigated, Raful said, adding an emergency generator. So, adding another generator is being brought to the hospital in the meantime. Regular maintenance regular maintenance and testing so to see if they work, when you test something, you see if it works, are done on the trio of backup generators. So right now, it's a trio of backup generators. There are three generators, he said, but he did not know when that testing had last occurred. So when did they check? When did they make sure that the generators worked last? He doesn't know. All right, and that's our story for today. If you want to see more stories, uh, and more news articles, then head over to the Patreon. It's going to be in the link below. And if you have a comment about this story, uh, then please tell me in the comments below. Also, if you liked this video, please like the video and subscribe so that you never miss another video. Also, if you found this fun, educational, and entertaining, please share it with your friends who are also learning English. All right, see you tomorrow. Peace.